Now that we've created all of our options inside Civil 3D and we've created some sheet sets in Civil 3D, let's talk a little bit about data management. Inside Civil 3D, there are two ways to reference information into a drawing inside of it. There's the standard way that most AutoCAD users are used to, which is external references or XREFs. But Civil 3D has a new option available, which is called a data reference. In general, XREFs are considered to be a graphics only representation of objects created in another drawing. A data reference is a information and graphics link to a Civil 3D data set created in another drawing file. What this means is that objects that are created in a drawing and brought over as an XREF can be displayed into a drawing, but they, the visibility is controlled by the original drawing, not the host drawing. Whereas a data reference, when it's brought into a drawing, the visibility controls for that object are being controlled by the object styles inside of the host drawing rather than the display settings of the source drawing. And this is important to note because you can modify what a drawing that has data sets in it or data shortcuts in it by choosing different object styles that would be different than the parent file. So you can set up a parent file that is set up to be a standard drawing and you can have a new drawing that has data shortcuts in it and have that set up as a slope analysis drawing only and you don't have to continue changing your view styles based on which sheet you want to print out. And you also don't have to worry about things being updated and changed because the host drawing contains all the data and the reference to that data is in your other drawing. It's important to note that you can get Civil 3D information from an XREF. If you XREF Civil 3D information into a drawing, you can still create labels and label certain information from Civil 3D, you, but you cannot control the visibility of those surfaces or those objects. So it has to look how you want it to look, and then you would label on top of it. With a data shortcut, you can label it and you can create new objects off of it. Um, so that's a, a little distinction there. Um, what you have to also be aware of is that you cannot bring over all objects in Civil 3D as data shortcuts. There are only a select few objects that you're allowed to bring over as data shortcuts, and they're contained over here on the Prospector tab. If you look under data shortcuts, you'll see that you can create data shortcuts for surfaces, alignments, and with alignments profiles, pipe networks, pressure networks, and corridors, and view frame groups. So any other object inside Civil 3D cannot be brought over as a data shortcut. 